steal from you. Maybe you can have it. That's fun. The monkey robbed me. Yeah. <laughs> so, we need to go, guys. Little kind of a bitter cabbage. Good to grill, good to use salads, good to use in your favorite application. They have a nice bitter note, incredibly healthy for you. So I'm gonna slice it up super thin. Good to make coleslaw with, whatever you guys wanna do with it. It's in, it's in the cabbage family. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take those two outer leaves, mm -hmm. hanging out. I'm gonna roll them onto themselves. In the French uh, culinary classes, this is called a chiffonade. It basically means thin ribbons. Chiffonade. That just means thin ribbons. You do this with herbs and when you in culinary school. You do it with basil, you do it with all kinds of other applications. In case you guys don't want to do all that, just cut everywhere on the radio or anywhere in the cabbage until you get to the core. That's the hard part, that's the tough part. So, I'm making sure to stay away from the core. Thank you. 
deep fried beans, I break down the bean itself, I keep cooking it, smash it, releases all its starches, and you refry it again, it thickens up. Anyone like deep fried beans? That's how you make deep fried beans. Just smash up the little beans. Add all the flavor you want, smash them and cook them slowly. The, the actual starch from the bean itself, the protein, will thicken up that liquid, that pot liquor. Aren't uh, refried beans kind of considered less healthy? Oh yeah, they're obviously healthy. But why is that if you're just smashing it? Well, because most of the time when people make refried beans, they use what's called pork lard. Okay. Or manteca. Because yeah, you're adding that to the beans. Exactly. So you're frying it essentially. So you have to add a little fat. Yeah. You add a little, most of the time in Mexico too, that's always done with pork lard. Okay. But God, it's amazing. I'll, t I'll take you and help you. <laughs> so, beans are warming up, chicken's ready to go. Let's make this an avocado salad. Fun fact, I'm not a big fan of avocado myself. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> However, I can make uh, one of my favorite things to eat in the, in the form of avocado is guacamole. Yeah. That would be Huh? <laughs> By itself? By itself? And I'm exactly the same. I can't do it. Even with some season on or something? Not, not, a, not a huge fan. My mom used to give it to me on tortillas, like yeah. this. Just slap it on there and I'll oh, flick it off. Gosh, it's <laughs> But, wait, how long ago? Like, I'm talking about kids. Yeah, because I mean, the. the